Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today is day number 17 of us praying through the fruit of the Spirit. We're praying about yielding to the Holy Spirit that we might be able to yield or bear or produce the fruit of the Spirit. The Bible tells us that if we are filled with the Spirit, we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh but instead we will produce what the spirit wants to produce in our life, which is namely the fruit of the spirit. And so we've been praying all month long about preparing our hearts in our lives to be able to produce what God wants to produce in our lives. And now the second half of the month, we're going to be praying about actually producing the fruit of the spirit. And we're in Galatians chapter five and verse 22 and 23. The last two days, we prayed about the fruit of the spirit of love and joy. And today we're going to be praying about producing or bearing the fruit of the spirit, which is peace. Amen. We're going to be praying about the fruit of the spirit, which is peace. And so our scripture again is Galatians 5 and 22 and 23. Here's what the word of God says. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such, there is no law. Amen. As we pray today, um, each day we pray about being filled with the Holy Spirit, which simply means being controlled by the Spirit of God versus being controlled by our own will, our own emotions, and our own desires. So we're going to ask God to fill us, which means we're going to give him permission to lead us and direct us and guide us all throughout the day. But not only that, we also want to pray that we'll produce the fruit of peace through the Holy Spirit in our life today. Come on, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we love you and we honor you and bless and praise your holy name. Lord, we thank you and bless you for this day that you have made. God, we are rejoicing. Lord, we are glad in it. Lord, we lift up our life to you. We lift up our lifestyles to you. Lord, we lift up um, just this this time of prayer and supplication unto you. And we thank you for just being God. And we thank you for being almighty. Lord God, as we look back over our life and we, we hear the Holy Spirit speak to us, God, we know that we've sinned and fallen short of your glory. We know we've done things you told us not to do. Lord, we understand that we left things undone that you told us to do. Lord, we have sins of, of both omission and commission. And for all of it, Lord, we are godly sorry. We repent and we turn away from our sins and we turn back to you. Lord, we thank you that when we confess our sins, you are faithful and you are just to forgive us and to purify us of all unrighteousness. Lord. So, so thank you for the forgiveness of sin because of the blood of Jesus Christ on Calvary's cross. We thank you also, Lord, that you fill us with your Holy Spirit. So we ask that you would take control of our lives, Lord take control of our thoughts, take control of the meditations of our hearts, take control of our desires and our will, Lord. We want to live according to the Spirit. We want to walk according to the Spirit. We want to be filled with the Holy Spirit. So, Lord, with each breath that we breathe in and with each breath that we breathe, breathe out, Lord, fill us with your Holy Spirit again. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Heavenly Dove. Lead us and guide us as we go throughout the day today. And Lord, as you fill us with the Holy Spirit, Lord, produce the fruit of the Spirit in our life. Lord, let us produce the, the fruit of, of love, agape, unconditional love toward you and toward our neighbors and even our enemies. Help us to produce the fruit of the Spirit of joy, Lord, rejoicing exceedingly in Jesus Christ. And then, Lord, help us to produce the, the fruit of the Spirit of peace, shalom, that there will be nothing missing and nothing broken in our life and in the lives of the people that we come in contact with and are connected to. Lord, we pray that uh, we would produce the, the fruit of peace, Lord, that we would be peacemakers, that, Lord, we live in such a time where there's so much division and there's so much uh, dissent and there's so many um, people that are at each other's throats, Lord, fights and, and rumors of fights and wars and rumors of wars. Lord, let us be the peacemakers in this season, Lord. So many people, Lord, are 
um, going after one another and attacking each other, Lord, but let us be the peace agents in this time and in this season, Lord, in our families and on our jobs and in community and in ministry, Lord, wherever you place us today, Lord, let us bring the peace of God that surpasses all understanding into the lives of the people that we come in contact with. Lord, we praise you and bless you for giving us your peace. For you told us, Jesus, you leave us with your peace, not as the world gives, but as you give. And so even, Lord, as you've given us the abundance of peace in our life, peace in the middle of storms, peace in the middle of chaos, peace in the middle of turmoil, Lord, let us walk in that peace, but also, Lord, let us produce that peace that others might see you working in us and glorify our Father in heaven. Lord, how we love you and how we honor you today and how we bless your holy name. We thank you for just the privilege of being called your children, just the privilege of being called your disciples. We thank you for the fruit of the spirit of love and joy and peace today in the Holy Spirit. We believe victory in the lives of your people. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, today we're praying about producing or bearing the fruit of the spirit in our life. It starts with being filled with the spirit so that we might be able to produce the fruit of the spirit. And so we read from Galatians chapter five and verse 22 and 23, 22 and 23, excuse me. And it says, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control against such there is no law. I want you to go in the peace of God and produce the fruit of the spirit peace in your life today. Nothing missing and nothing uh, broken. We'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.